I started with them when they were doing a simulcast. As a matter of fact, that was the first show that was done as a simulcast, where it was done for radio and television at the same time. And, and you appear to tell us about that. Well, uh, I was, I was, of course, I was a youngster. I was the boy next door that lived next door and used to come and run errands for the Goldbergs and so on. And she'd lean out the window and say, oh, uh, I think my name was Jimmy on the show, too. And uh, Jimmy, can you come over? Yes, ma'am. I'll be right over. And you know, that kind of thing, you know. Well, how, how'd you get that part? Or, or find out about it, you know, because, if, uh, you know, if you're in, in the theater, you got to find out what's going on. And just word of mouth, you hear from people and so on. And I think, though, I think the, the sound effects man with the, that was doing the Arthur Godfrey show, we be, Mel, Mel, I can't think of Mel's last name, but I think he knew about it and told me to go up and check them and find out because they were going to cast someone in it. And I did, you know, and, and read for them, as you would have to do. And, uh, and uh, I think that's the way it came about. Describe for us what it was like to arrive on that set and to work uh, in live television on, on that show. Well, you see, it was done uh, as, 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 like theater in those days. Television was, uh, was so new and it was being run by theater people. And the whole concept was theater in those days, they would shoot scenes almost like, like theater because it was live. There was no take two and take three. It was take one was it. And, and you had to learn your lines the same as you do for a Broadway show. And, and, and once it start, it would, had to keep going. And it wasn't, there was no tape. They, uh, they had eventually developed something called Kenny kinescopes which uh, when they finally transferred it to when television became and they had the kinescopes, they had a big problem trying to get it because the frames, the way the frames moved through, the speed of the frames was so different until it would look almost like people were in slow motion and that sort of thing. So it was, it was fascinating watching it grow up because I've watched it grow up, you know. Uh, if no one had ever seen the Goldbergs before, describe the premise of the show. Oh, the uh, Goldbergs was this woman, Molly Goldberg, and it was a neighborhood, and, uh, and, and, and things centered around her in her neighborhood, different incidents that would happen uh, 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 in the neighborhood, and she would be the, the focal point of all of it, you know, and Molly. You know, she ran the neighborhood, so to speak. Did people, friends of yours, see you on television? Oh, yes. The yes, Goldbergs? yes. Oh, God, yes. And then in, in those days, see, it was rare to see a black person on television. It was a rarity. So that when you were on and the black people found out a black person was on, they, they were all eyes, you know. And then, and, but not many people had television sets because this is the black and white days. And, uh, People couldn't afford them. So, and then, you know, it's fascinating what it is nowadays that you can carry your television set around in your pocket. 